Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how to reveal text in Final Cut Pro with any moving object in an image. In this case I use myself by walking from the left to the right of the image and I want to reveal text just behind me while I'm walking. So I put this clip in slow motion, put a track under it. Okay, first of all we want to choose our font. We go over here to our text button, go to our own font layer and we want to drag it just to the frame where we want the text to reveal. I want to reveal the text on my back and I want to, the text to be in the middle of the frame. So I put it just over here. Now we go to text over here, type in whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to type in text reveal tutorial. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger like that. Then I'm going to choose another font. In this case I'm going with Gotham Ultra. It's a free font. I'm going to link it down in the description so you can download it for free. Next step. I'm moving the text where I want it to be and I'm moving it a bit up and a bit to the left. So you can see that the first bit of the T is already behind my back. So next step we move from the text folder to the video folder. There we go to effects and our trimming tool over here and we want to reveal the text from the left to the right so we choose right to reveal the text from left to the right like that. Now we have to set our first keyframe where we reveal the first bit of our T. You can just click on the number and pull it slowly down to reveal more of the text. In this case I would say that's enough for the first bit of the T. And we set our first keyframe on this little point. When it's yellow you set a keyframe. Okay, now we're clicking one frame to the right and revealing a little bit more of the T by dragging down the numbers. I would say that's okay. And the keyframe is already set automatically. So next one next frame and you have to do this all over till the whole text is revealed and I'm speeding it up right now for you so you don't have to wait that long so looks pretty cool if you invest more time as me you can do it even better the easiest way is to do it with even objects which are vertically to the ground if you have any ideas for other tutorials, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you then. Bye.